So in this lesson, we're going to be graphing linear inequalities. So I'm going to start by graphing the line, like, just like we did with uh, equality. Yeah. So in this case, I said y, equal, y is less than or greater to 2 fifths x plus 1. So that means that I'm going to start by graphing the line. So that's part 1, because it's b. And remember that we're going up 2 and 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I want to get another point, so I'm going to go 1, 2 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left. And I'm going to trace that line. So I'm going to trace that line right there. In this case, because it's equal to, right, it's less than or equal to, I'm going to trace it a complete line instead of a dotted line. Right? So that's my line right there. I didn't need so much. Let me erase some. This part right here. Oops. Let me erase some of that line right there, and some of that line right here. So that's my graph. Now, but I have an inequality, right? I don't have a equality, right? When it's equal to, the solution of that graph is going to be everything that is right there, right? So, because I have an equality, I need to choose a task point. I like to use always zero zero, but you can use any task point that you want. Right? And I'm going to substitute that test point on my equation. So y equals 0, 2 fifths times 0 plus 1. Right? So I have 0 less than or equal to 1. Right? And I'm going to check this inequality is true. 0 is less than or equal to 1. So that means that I'm going to shade. I'm going to mark. I'm going to shade everything that is where I chose that test point. So that's my graph. This is my solution of that exercise. Right? If my inequality would be false, that means that I'm shading to the other side where I had that test point. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with negative 1. So I'm moving 3 up. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, to the left. Right? Again, I'm going up 1, 2, and 3, and 1, 2, to the left, right? And I'm going to trace that line right there. Again, because it's equal to, it's going to be a complete line. Oops. This is equal to, it's going to be a complete line. Now, again, I'm choosing 0, 0. You can choose any point, especially if that point 0, 0 is on the graph. So if, zero, if the graph passes to that one, I have to choose the other one. So I'm going to plug that in. So 0 less than or equal to negative 3 half times 0 minus 1. This is 0. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 1. So this is false. So because it's false, that means that I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade everything that is on the opposite side of that point. So I'm shading everything down here. Everything up there, and that's my graph of this inequality. Next one again, I'm going to start in negative one, and this time I'm going up two and one to the right. Up two, one to the right. One to the right. Trace the line. In this case, now that I have, I don't have the equal sign, so that means that anything that is on the line is not part of my solution. I'm going to trace a dotted line, a dotted line instead of a complete line, right? Now I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to test the point 0, 0. So 0 less than 2 times 0 minus 1. This is 0, so 0 less than negative 1. Again, this is false. So that means that I'm shading to the opposite side. So I'm shading over here. I'm shading over here. This one, again, I'm going to start by simplifying this one. So 3x minus 2y less than or equal to 8. I'm going to subtract tx on both sides. 
So negative 2y is greater than negative 3x plus 8. And now I'm going to divide by negative 2. So negative 2. So that means that y is less than or equal to 3 half x minus 4. Remember that when I divide on both sides of an inequality, I'm going to flip the sign. So I'm going to start negative 4. I'm going up 3, 2 to the right. Uh, 3, 2 to the right. Now I'm going to trace the line, and this one again is going to be a complete line. This is going to be a complete line because it is equal to. Okay. Now again, I'm going to test a point. So 0 less than 3 half times 0 minus 4. This becomes 0. So 0 less than negative 4, again, is false. Stop. So I'm shading to the opposite side where I don't have my test point. Okay. And that's my graph. Okay. So the next one, again, I'm going to solve for y. So y is greater than negative 2x plus 3. And I want you to pause the video right now and trace the graph of that one. And you're going to check with a solution. So now that you've traced it, I want you to check your work, right? So I'm going to start by tracing the graph. So negative, I'm starting at 3. And I'm going up to 1 to the right. In this case, I don't have more space to go up, so I'm going to go down 1, 2, and 1 to the left. And I'm going to trace the line. So in that case, it's just greater than, so that means that I'm going to draw a dotted line. So my line is going to be dotted right there. Right. Now again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to test a point. So 0 greater than negative 2 times 0 plus 3. 0 is greater than 3. Again, this is false. This is false. So that means that I'm going to shade to the opposite side. So I'm going to shade everything up here. And that's the graph and the solution of this inequality. Now, the last one, I'm going to start by, again, asking you to pause the video and work this exercise. Now, my first step here, 3x minus y is less than negative 5. So I'm going to start by subtracting 3x on both sides. So negative y is less than negative 3x minus 5. Now I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. So y is greater than 3x plus 5. So that means that I'm going to start here. Now, I don't have enough space to go up, so I'm going to go down. So 1, 2, and 3, and 1 to the left. 1, 2, and 3, and 1 to the left. And I'm going to trace my graph. Right? Again, this is going to be a dotted line. It's going to be a dotted line. My test point, 0, 0. I'm going to test some of the original exercise instead of what I saw. So it's 3, 0, minus 0 is less than 5. So 0 minus 0 is less than negative 5, and 0 is less than negative 5. Again, this is false. This is false. I'm going to try it. So you can see that I'm trying on the same part on the one that I saw. So y is greater than this is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5. This is also false. Right, so that means that I'm going to shade to the opposite side. Let me use the same color. I'm going to shade to the opposite side. And that's it for this lesson. May the force be with you.